Hi, Dad. I'm getting out of the hospital tomorrow. They told me that you stayed with me while I was asleep. I am... Um, I'm really sorry about everything that happened. I'm gonna stop all that shit. Uh, it messes me up. It, it, it turns me into somebody I hate. Hey, I, I'd like to come by and, and see you tomorrow, if, if that's all right with you. I just want to let you know, I'm, I'm proud to be your son. Who are you? How did you get in? I need to see Carl. Carl isn't seeing anyone. You need to leave. Please. I need to see him. He's very weak. I'm not sure he'll be able to talk to you. Marcus, I was hoping you'd come. I missed you so much, girl. You don't know how much I've missed you. What's wrong, Marcus? I'm completely lost, Carl. The whole world's falling apart around me. I try to do the right thing. I look for answers. I... Instead, I just find more doubts and more uncertainty. The world is ruled by fear, Marcus. Fear of others. Fear of the future. It's like me, too old. It's time for a damn. <sighs> well, what should I do? Carl, they're killing my people. I, I don't want to answer violence with violence, but tell me, what choice do they give? Being alive is making choices between love and hate, between holding out your hand or closing it as a fist. I don't have any easy answers, Marcus. You have to accept the world as it is. Or fight to change it. You're my son, Marcus. Our blood isn't the same color. But I know part of me is in you. When the world falls in the darkness, some men have the courage to lead it out. You're one of those men. Face the abyss, but don't let it consume you.
I thought you'd be safe staying with us. I was wrong. You need to leave the city while you still can. Getting Alice away from here is all that matters now. We have to catch the last bus. We might still have a chance to cross the border. Marcus. Save our people. My fault, the humans managed to locate Jericho. I was stupid. I should have guessed they were using me. I'm sorry, Marcus. I can understand if you decide not to trust me. You're one of us now. Your place is with your people. There are thousands of androids at the CyberLife assembly plant. If we could wake them up, they might join us and shift the balance of power. You want to infiltrate the CyberLife tower? Connor, that's suicide. They trust me. They'll let me in. If anyone has a chance of infiltrating CyberLife, it's me. If you go there, they will kill you. There's a high probability. But statistically speaking, there's always a chance for unlikely events to take place. Be careful. How many of us survived the attack? A few hundred. Maybe more if you count those hiding all over the city. If you hadn't triggered the bomb, we'd all be dead. What's your system status? I'm okay. The bullet didn't hit any bike components. You could have been killed trying to save me, Marcus. You have to think of our people first. Nothing else matters. The army built five different camps in the Detroit area. They're building more all across the country. They're preparing for a genocide. In a few hours, it'll all be over. We'll have changed the world, or the world will have destroyed us. You have to make a choice, Marcus. But whatever you choose, we will follow you. I love you, Marcus. If it weren't for you, I'd be dead. Thanks to you, I might see our people free one day. You and I haven't always agreed, but I know that we're fighting for the same thing. Whatever you decide, I'm with you, Marcus.
Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are packed in camps right now, being destroyed. Time has come to make a choice. One that very well may determine the future of our people. I know. I know you're all angry. And I know you want to fight back. But I assure you, violence is not the answer here. We are going to tell them, peacefully, that we want justice. And if there's any humanity in them, they will listen. And if not, others will take our place and continue this fight. Are you ready to follow me? <laughs> 